going on everybody? I got a short little video I wanted to make and ask everybody a question about something that may be going on that I want to get to the bottom of before it even happens. And if you hear a little background noise, that's because it's raining and a metal building ain't good for videos, but where I make them is where I'm going to be. But my question is, has everybody else noticed that all of the street outlaws are getting small tire cars? Ryan, he just built the 69 Camaro, you know, the OG Murder Nova. I know that a bunch of them just got done with small tires on their cars, but, you know, on top of that, a lot of the bigger name guys from, you know, not just the 405, but everywhere is getting into small tire racing. You know, is it because they want to race two classes? You know, does anybody know the answer to this question? You know, Ryan, that 69 he built, it's a beautiful car. You know, small tire car. Um, a lot of the NOLA guys was already small tire. Just, I want to know if there's something fixing to go on. If you think back when Chief, Sean, and all them, they throwed small tires on their cars. You know, they put them cars to work. You know, all it takes is a tune-up in a car that takes 3,000 horsepower, and you can stand it on a small tire. But, you know, you got... 3,500, 4,000 horsepower car, you know, you put a set of 10 and a half inch tires on it, you know, that's that's a lot of power to make it hook on a pavement, you know, not necessarily even on a track, but on pavement. But, you know, I do not think that the 405 will end up with a small tire list and a big tire list like NOLA had. You know, in one of the podcasts, Chief said, you know, that they didn't agree with that, that, you know, there's one list of the baddest 10 MFers on the planet in the 405 in the rural state you do not have to live in the 405 you just have to be able to make it to the 405 every race night but from what I've heard they don't have time to do what they want to do with a big tire car so what makes them think that they're going to have time to do something with a small tire car that's my main question so if anybody has any answers to any of these please let me know one more thing has anybody else seen the pictures and the, the hint, so to speak, of the mega race that's going to happen between Alex Laughlin and Gas Monkey and Fireball with the 405? Is this going to be the same thing that happened with, you know, Chief and Gas Monkey? Or, you know, is it something different or whatever? Because I feel like if they would have had more time with that Challenger that... Alex was driving that car would have been unstoppable but Ryan being the fastest car in the 405 does he have a shot I think he does I don't know you know last time that they done it between Chief and Alex or Chief and Gas Monkey 405 versus you know Richard you know whatever you want to call it they had the big stink about the rules everybody's seen it you know but that car has a bigger than 500 cubic inch motor. You'll never make me believe that it's 500 cubic inches or less. But is this going to be a you know yearly thing? Is this going to be a one more time thing? You know, is Gas Monkey's ratings are horrible. So, like I've said several times, you know, Ryan Martin 383 in the eighth, which is just freaking moving. That is the fastest car in the 405 on the show at least. That car is wicked stupid fast. You gotta think, this is gonna be a prepped track. They're gonna be able to pour everything they got into that car and make it boogie down. They are both very seasoned racers between Alex and Ryan Martin, but I feel like this is gonna be an awesome, awesome race. You know, I wonder if the farm burger, if Asian the farm truck, they're gonna come back and do something, you know, I don't know, but if you have any more information other than they are gonna race, let me know. Drop it in the comments or shoot me an email, something. And um, one more thing is a lot of the emails that I've been getting, people have been sending them under important um, or urgent emails and they're going to a different folder. And if it if you do that, it may take me a little bit longer to get to you because by the time I sort through them, you know, it may take a little longer. Just send it regular. I will reply. I will respond. You know, I love you know, conversing with you guys, you know, I, I, you know, the love, the hate, everything. I, I like mixing it up. You know, I'm here to stay. I'm not going nowhere. You know, send all your information, all your comments, everything to the email address that's on the screen. And 
you know, let me know anything that may be going on. You know, I've had a couple of guys who have emailed me and said, you know, just information that goes on behind the scenes, so to speak, you know, or not that the general public would know. And, you know, hey, I ain't scared to throw it out there. So let me know any information you have, big or small, you know, let me know. And I'll, I'll you know, put it out there to the following and see what happens, you know. I know this video was short, but thanks for watching and Godspeed.